I don't think I can even take myself seriously in this mask, but hello everyone. Happy Sunday video. <laughs> this is usually like a weekly vlog, or it has been for last month, but today's actually Friday and um, my stress levels are up here right now. I've got to finish sorting out this room, like my beauty makeup filming space, pack for down south. Rumi is looking at me like, what is going on? Can you hear? We've got a little pair. Okay, this vlog is going to be... A lot of me just doing things. Hello. Say hello to 14 week old Rumi. I'm also feeling quite anxious at the fact that I'm not going to see him till he's like 18 weeks old, which is making me really sad because I know he's going to be so much bigger. Yeah, my sister-in-law was saying when she saw him, she was like, he looks so much bigger on camera, but in real life, like he's actually just, like so tiny. I just feel like I've got so much to do today. And I'm like, like, where has this week gone? Honestly, this week has been good. It's been nice. It's been like a lot of like socializing. Went to Edinburgh, went to Glasgow. It's been nice, but we just needed to to bang on a face mask and get on with things really. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my big Pakistani kumbal in the wash. And yeah, let's just go from that. With Rumi's leash lead training, I just wanted to say as well, like I'm only doing this because I know he's gonna love being outside. And if he doesn't, that's fine and we'll just stop. But um, I have a really strong feeling he will because he loves going to the window, he loves looking outside. When we opened the balcony and we had the lead on him and the harness on him. He was so interested, he was sniffing around. So I think he will love being outside, but obviously, being an apartment kitten, he's only gonna be able to go outside with us. So the more used to his harness he gets now, the better. Now he's had one vaccination, he's got his second one when I will be down south. He's totally used to the harness now, so and we'll be giving him loads and loads of treats every time he's had it on. So he is associating that with like a positive thing, and I'm kind of stopping the treats now unless I'm doing this so that it's only a positive experience for him. That's like the best way to sort of train cat kittens. Then I'm gonna go and move on to back to the bedroom. I'm gonna get my suitcase out and start packing at the same time as like putting laundry away, you guys. Why, why is there so much laundry? Why? Um, and then at some point today, I'm gonna have to sit down and spend about three hours finishing off editing and then uploading the photos of my bride and groom from June so that'll be exciting and then I'll be putting it on their USB I'll show you guys the USB I'm not sure if I've shown you already but I'll show you anyway but anyway back to what we go bitten on my forehead which is just great <laughs> yeah my in-laws dropped over um a short while ago which was so nice just to come and see me because all of our schedules are just all over the place at the moment i feel like since i've been off work my schedule has morphed into guys timings which does make sense it's nice i get to spend more time with him but his timings are like so opposite to like a normal person's timings in terms of like you know, nine to five. Basically, we're sleeping out of our drawer, essentially. Homes have not been great. I'm hoping that they're gonna be better when I'm at home. Say hello. Look, it's Rumi. <laughs> Talking about Rumi, my father-in-law was saying that I should like bring him over before I go on Sunday rather than him being here without anyone. I mean, obviously Wakari is going to be here, but he was like, no, we'll be here home more than Wakari would be, basically. I realized that my big suitcase is at 
the house, at my in-laws house, it's in the attic. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to go get that. So yeah, I just thought I'd put away the clean laundry and then I'll start packing. I've edited all the pictures, but when I say finalized, I just mean like just, just the last little check, a little bit of sharpness here, the right crop, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna be doing that maybe later on today or hopefully inshallah tomorrow, like earlier in the morning. It's not too much to do, but at the same time, three weeks is a long time to go away for. And then obviously like, my family will be coming here and stuff. So all in all, like I feel like I'm like preparing for the next month. Plus Eid as well, and you think about that. And then we have a really exciting wedding coming up. I'm not gonna speak too much about it, but we do have a really exciting wedding coming up in August, inshallah. Tomorrow. Hello everyone, it's the next day, aka Saturday. And yesterday I really did not get enough done and it's already like four o'clock. But I checked my training time and it's at one tomorrow, which is making me feel so much better. For some reason I had it in my head that it was at 11, but that's giving me literally a whole two extra hours. I got Rumi a little present as far as I you buy this kit and so many toys. And I'm like, of course, like, of course. Let's open it together. Come on, Rumi. That's made me so happy because usually when I get a new toy, he kind of just like eyes it up and then walks away and doesn't really get into it until a couple of days. But this is like straight away making him want to play. So I'm going to link it down below. I got it from eBay. Also, I don't know if I... It's like said this in the vlog yet, but um, yesterday I started brushing his teeth. I didn't even know you're supposed to brush your teeth, and you can literally get kitten and puppy toothbrushes and toothpaste, or specific for them, which it has like a meat, meaty flavor. He's not a fan, but I gave him a treat first, which is what Farah, the lovely Farah, recommended me to do. So I gave him a treat first, and then I brushed his teeth and I gave him a treat after. And that just association with things that you want them to do and like treats is just so good. But he is loving this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be packing my stuff and he can just be busy playing with the little mouse. How cute! Then I'll bring his toy in it as well because he likes to be with people. So guys, I don't know where I would be without packing cubes. I've spoken about them so many times on my channel. By the way, look at that tan line. That's magic. <laughs> so in this packing cube, I've literally just put like all my underwear, a couple of pairs of socks and a pair of tights and a pair of leggings just in case. And then obviously I'm staying at my parents' house so it's not like I'm not going to have access to the washing machine. And yes, if you're wondering, he is still loving the toy and trying desperately to get the mouse. <laughs> So actually, I actually think this is going to be one of his favourite toys ever. Later. Okay, it's been half an hour. So in this cube, I have put other shoes, like my fit flops, which I love. These black pom-pom shoes, just so cute. And then these sandals. I don't really like wearing sandals, but, you know, sometimes, occasionally I will do. And then on the other side, I fit so much stuff in, guys. My pyjamas, my tops, and, like, my soft trousers. Jersey material, which I just so comfy. I love wearing these around the house. That's going to go here. Now, in this bit here, I've just put my jeans long sort of light wash jeans is my black mango mom jeans got a pair of leather joggers and my classic pair of mom jeans which i tend to wear whenever i go out and then i just got one blazer i'm gonna put both of my Taj Rasi turbans in here i have the khaki green one and like the stone one but i think i might have one one of them tomorrow actually rather than wearing like a full hijab so we'll see might just keep one of those out probably the green one i love this silk scarf i wore it this week monday and unfortunately i didn't like any of the pictures but I, you guys would have seen it in a get ready with me if you follow me on instagram and then next stop is the skincare and makeup times when i'm going away for a week or whatever i take this case which is my really lovely guest case i got this from tk maxx i've got a set of them but i do love a case like this just for organization now it is grubby it has been clean but you know makeup up does stain again because i'm not going just for a week this i think is going to be my best bet i'm just going to start putting things in i'm really into brown eyeliner at the moment for me i'm like still harnessing him guys as you can see so i'm getting him used to like the feeling of being on a lead in that i'm going to be taking this beauty the huda beauty's hand tour i have this in the shade light and i could actually do with a darker shade as well but yeah this definitely does the absolute job for me of course my favorite powder of all time has to come along with me so it does a good setting spray this one is the morphe luminous setting mist so i'm still packing but i just wanted to let you know these are two lip liners that i'm going to be taking and using most of the summer the shade on the left is russet by barry m 
and the shade on the right is Toast. Okay, I think we're almost there now, so let's just go through. Um, I've got my favourite lip gloss ever, the Essence one, and a lip balm. This is from Aldi. And then I've got this Dose of Colours lipstick, this is in the shade Toast. And then I've also got this Dose of Colours liquid lipstick in the shade Truffle, which is like my ideal kind of nude lightening shade. Then the classic, so we've got Morphe, Peanut, which I know is very autumnal, but that is just so me in a tube. Ofra, I can't remember the name, but I definitely will have spoken about it in my lipstick collection, so I'll link that down below. And then this is a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Bombshell. Absolutely love this. It's like one of my go-to shades. I just swatched this Primark lip liner. It's in the shade brown. Let me see if it's very different to Russet. Hang on. So that's the Primark one on the far left. I definitely think it is different enough to justify bringing it along with me. And I've got the Fenty loose powder. I've only brought this because it's a smaller size and it's like just much more travel friendly. It's not necessarily my favourite powder, but it definitely will do the job. I've got two of my Kevin Aquans in the shade 07 and 08 here. My blushes. This is the Hourglass Ambient Blush and it's in the shade Mood Exposure. It's a really, really beautiful, mauve slightly cool tone, but very flattering blush. Um, and then I've also got the NARS blush in the shade Torrid. I can't remember if this is discontinued, but it's one of my favourite blushes just because it's so flattering for like a medium olive skin tone. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but it just looks beautiful on the skin. It lasts a long time. Then I've got the Kevin Aquan bronzer here. This is in Dusk Medium. And then I've also got this liquid highlighter from wet and wild absolutely love that now for my bases i want to again make a big chunk take a big chunk out of the flawless filter because i've had it for quite a while now then i of course i had to go for my tried and tested nashia glow this is probably like the third bottle that i brought now absolutely love it and i really want to use up my dual face and body because i've had that for quite a while now as well and it's definitely a summer shade i definitely have picked up a little bit of a tan here and i think i'm just gonna rock the warmer skin tones because why not probably will also pack my nasty tinted moisturizer when i get onto that side of the room but i so far all I've got is the duo lash glue this one's my favorite one guys this is amazing because it has a brush tip and then I love me these sort of things I know they are a bit limited edition they come and go um you can get them from Colourpop this one particular one is from Essence it's just like a liquid metal eyeshadow yeah you know, I've just got a eyebrow pencil I'll probably pick another one as well a couple of colored eyeliners over here and um, my lip liners and then two mascaras which are drying up and I want to use them up wow I said Rumi doesn't really shed clearly anyway i'm going to take the nars of voyager eyeshadow palette with me this is a gift for my friend i used it recently to get ready with me actually and i'm also taking the look a million lashes these are in the style choppy they are super dramatic these are definitely the ones i'm going to be wearing for eid cannot wait and i'm also taking her lash applicator tool as well yes i've just added in the fenty gloss balm lip gloss that abh caramel lip gloss and the nars lipstick in barbara and then this is the um photo beauty trendsetter liquid lipstick so I've got more than enough lip options there for three weeks. So I'm just about to pray also and I had this idea like obviously after I've prayed to film a face full of makeup that I'm throwing away that's basically like too old packing and looking at everything I've got and I'm just like why do I have so much stuff that I'm just looking at and I'm like maybe, maybe I'm gonna use that you know and I've already started this decluttering series a lot of you have been watching it already thank you so much if you have watched them they take a lot of time and effort especially the description bars for the ones that I've done but yeah I think I'm gonna do that after this so I'm gonna read Asad, get to filming that so you know if I have time to film a video this is procrastination at its finest, right? Ibrahim alayhi salam, he receives a commandment and an order from Allah to leave his children in the desert and to go off to Palestine. Where are they? They're in Mecca. There is no living being there. There's no animals there. Woohoo! The difference between the last clip and this clip, wow. But also, look at this makeup, guys. Like, the wing is not winging, the mascara, I might as well not bothered, and now it's irritating my eyes. Video is done. It took a bit too long, but we're not going to talk about that, and we're not going to fuss about that, because that's just going to waste more time. I'm going to go heat up some food for myself. I need to just get on. Like, I'm, I'm happy with the leeway that I made, but I mean, I wish I'd done all of this yesterday, and then today could have been, like, a fresh start, but... The procrastinator in me just will not rest. So guys, I'm just editing the final photos of the wedding that I did. And um, I'm going to be delivering them the USB tomorrow before I go, inshallah. I'm so happy with how, like, especially like the couple shoot, these pictures came out. I took my trumpet too much, like I'm really, really happy with them. Busy, busy evening, as you can tell. 
but yeah just gonna carry on editing oh ho, 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 ho. what a cutie what a cutie you can't do her like he's just so he's in such a loving mood right now i was not home at the times where he's like this and he's just so adorable like i'm glad i'm getting this on camera actually so yeah like, this is so this is actually like like my childhood dreams of like my teddies like coming to life this is actually like what having a cat is like <laughs> sometimes and then sometimes it's like having a toddler who just like just will not stop being crazy and has to just like try and be really patient and calm you the next day I'm on the train from Edinburgh now and this is going to go all the way down to Crewe which is near Birmingham just had this chocolate for the first time tell me why they, I feel like I've actually just eaten a whole teaspoon of salt like that is just too much I like a bit of salt and caramel a bit <sighs> guys what a mess what a mess I can't even edit this vlog because who didn't pack her headphones me absolute mess so this video will be up on Monday instead of the usual Sunday I'm maybe I'll just put it up on Tuesday, who knows? But getting back into reading, we'll do a whole Tuesday video on this. And I'm just going to be reading a lot this summer. And I want to, so I'm not necessarily just going to be doing teaching content anymore on a Tuesday. So I think my Tuesdays will be a lot of like, you know, career, work, and book related things. I don't know how that's going to do, but that's kind of where I want to see my channel going, not just solely focused on more lifestyle and more beauty, you know? But yeah, back to reading. Mm -hmm. 